morning everybody beautiful day out had a lot of dew last night so let's see I can hear it dripping off the tarp man is it bright I paint this door black I don't see any dripping through so that's good Get this door opened up. That piece should be dry. Let's go check on these pieces. Oh, that's got water all over it. I gotta get it somewhere to get it to dry. Let me go check this one. This one I just watered up. Just peel it back. See if it's dry. Nope, it's got water on it too. So, might be a little while before I can get this back up. I wanna make sure it's completely dry. So, All right, I could just stand here and hold it like this. <laughs> um, I'll probably get the eight foot ladder out here. Get it tied off to that. Let me do that. Let me get this stuff taped up somehow so it can dry. And let's see what this looks like. It's still soaking wet. Man, I just don't know how far back to that water got, but I need to get it all peeled back around all the windows like that. I'll just tape it back so it can dry out. All right, let's get to work. I don't know if you can see or not, but I cut here, cut across there, cut up that, cut these, cut it all up and flapped it back and let it air out. So it's completely dry back there now. But I did notice a few spots where I started to have some like orange fuzzy mold. So I went and got some bleach and water, put it in my pump up sprayer, and I hit those spots. So I'm hoping that takes care of that. So I'm gonna get back, I'm gonna start taping these seams. And that, that way this side of the house will be done. And then all I got left to do is the front side, which should be fairly easy because there wasn't so many windows. <laughs> So I'm feeling better about that. All right, let me start taping. This side's done, it's all put back. I still gotta put a little Tyvek up there. I'm gonna do that when I get to the end piece. I'm gonna have some scrap pieces to put up there.
but this is all sealed up back the way it was ah oh, makes me feel good and i'll tell you what on this side of the house in a black t-shirt it's hot so let's walk around to this side and see what we got to do here. This one's going to be a lot easier. Number one's in the shade. Because I only have two windows. That window and that window. This whole piece right here, I should be able to just pull all the way back around and I don't remember where I cut it. And then there's a piece inside that goes in the middle. I cut a piece out. So let me staple these windows up first. And... Get these end pieces around. All right, let's do that.
Tyvek's all put back up. Looks worse now than it did when I put it up the first time. <laughs> but I got the seams all Tyvek taped everywhere around. Not looking too bad. At least it's dry now. That was my main thing. It's just dry behind it. Well, happy with that. I uh, don't know if I told you or not, but I had a little bit of mold growing, so I hit it with some bleach and water. That took care of it. It's hot. The side's all done. So, yeah. Liking it. Man, I just hope it stays dry. I get water behind there again, I'm going to quit. <laughs> yeah. She spots like this, I'll come back and put some tape over. And then, like here, you see I cut staples out. I'll throw tape over those holes. That'll probably be tonight, and that's probably going to be it for today because I got to head down to. It's two o'clock. I got to head down to Penrist or Pinterest or I don't know some town. A friend, 100% off grid. They're moving, and they got something for me. So I'll show you that when I get back. I like it. Okay. Just hope the tarp stays up there. It's kind of windy today. All right. So I will talk to you when I get back from Penris or Pine Ridge. I don't even know what the name of this town is. Not even a town. It's just a bunch of houses. Okay. Talk to you later. One of the little odd jobs I have to do, <laughs> I got a list, is I have to take these things, joist hangers, and I have to put them right up in there. Yeah, let's do that. Those are done. I didn't put it on that one. This board's coming out. I'm gonna cut that back to there. Give me a little more headroom.
Uh, yep, got four on that side. Four on that side. Another one of the projects that I need to get marked off my list. Uh, I got so many little ones. I want to start plumbing and get my electrical going. All right, let's go find something else to do. I'm waiting for my friend to call. Let me go upstairs and see what I got. So one of the, one of the other projects I want to do is I'm going to secure these stairs to the wall because they're just a little bit wobbly. So how am I going to do this? Let me get a measurement here. Do it probably right on this one. Right in here somewhere. Ooh, three and a half. That is three and a half right there. So two by four. So I made this block. Let's see if I do it. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on here like so, right up tight against the wall. And I'll tack on that to the wall. So, let's see if I can do this without screwing it up. And that should keep it rock solid. Rock solid. Liking it. Oh, good evening. Ooh, I thought that was a moose. <laughs> the tree stump. It is 7.30 at night. And I have been crazy busy this last... Oh my God, it seems like every day I am just going nonstop. So, I need to mention a few things. Um... And I've been meaning to do this. Just, I, it's just, I got so much on my mind. I'm a mosquito. So much on my mind. And now I'm going to do it. But I want to thank my best friend, Jeremy, for flying up here for a week and helping me get the roof on this place. Well, the truss is setting the decking up there, and we did a bunch of other stuff. So, Jeremy, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you come back when there's snow on the ground. I want to thank my sister Cheryl. She, a oh, mosquito, keep buzzing around my ear. She kept us fed. She kept the place clean. She did our laundry. Tremendous help. Sis, love you. Thank you very much. And then I want to thank my dad. 85 years old. He's in there slinging lumber with us. Oh, this mosquito. <laughs> He's in there slinging lumber with us, cutting lumber. Driving nails, he's doing it, 85. So dad, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I miss everybody. Now see you too at Thanksgiving. The other thing is, I got a friend of mine. She owns, her and her daughter own 50 acres, about 50 miles south of here in a town called, I think it's, Prentice. 
I can't remember. And she sold her property, her acreage, and her cabin, and they close on the place tomorrow. And then I think her and her daughter are going to do a three or four month road trip around the United States. So that'll be cool. But she texted me today. That's why I didn't get a lot of work done. So I had to do some running around. She texted me today and she says, hey, I got something here for you. If you want it, you can have it. But you got to come and get it today. And if you don't, I'm leaving it here with the house. Say no more. <laughs> I, I, on my way. So check it out, people. 27 ton hydraulic log splitter. I had to go buy a drop down hitch for it. <laughs> that was one of the errands I had to run. But it stands up, so you don't have to pick the logs up. This is great. I can't believe she gave it to me. But I did tell her, I said, if you ever come back to Maine and you want it back, I'll give it to you. And she's like, okay. She goes, but just use it. I don't plan on cutting my own firewood and splitting it, but I do plan on cutting some pine and some other softer woods so I can have a fire in my outside fire pit. I don't want to burn my hardwood for that. So I drove down there 50 miles, <laughs> hooked it up, and drove it back. I'm going to change the oil in it, drain the gas out of it, and put fresh gas in it, make sure it's got enough hydraulic oil in it. And I'll get a new hydraulic filter for it. But man, that's cool. Check it out. 27 ton. That thing's pretty sharp. That is going to be great. So I want to thank her. I'm not going to mention her name. Um, but she knows who she is. So thank you. I hope you enjoy your road trip she said she might try to stop by this week sometime um she's gonna work i think she's got another week of work left and they're renting a little cabin somewhere so hopefully she'll stop by so that's gonna be it for today i didn't do a whole lot of work i did get the tie back all done and it's still dry under it yeah it did rain here a little bit while i was gone i do know that road was all wet when i came in So that's it for today. Tomorrow, I might not be doing anything. I gotta go, I gotta do laundry. I gotta go do to the hardware store and put my order in for my insulation. Uh, I'm going with bat, bat insulation. I can't get anybody to call me back for spray foam. And one guy who did, he wanted 11 grand. 11 grand to spray foam that. Four walls and the roof. Ain't no way. I'm buying a lot of firewood for 11 grand. And the other two people I've been trying to get a hold of for over a week now. They just don't call back. I don't get it. So I'm going with bat insulation. I'm going to go down to the hardware store and get that ordered and have that delivered. And then I'm going to sit down tonight and put my electrical package together. And I will go up to Lowe's and pick all that up because it's going to be thousand bucks if not more um, and uh, I get 10% off up there I get a 10% discount so it's worth it for me to drive up there so it'll be a lot of running around tomorrow don't know if I'll do any filming maybe when I get back I might start doing something because I have to get my plumbing in which is going to be easy all the plumbing is going through the floor into the basement with the exception of the vent pipes well, electrical is going through the walls and you just don't want to be drilling holes for electrical wires with insulation in there. So I got to get the plumbing and insulation or <laughs> plumbing and electrical in before I can insulate. Also tomorrow, I think my board and batten is showing up for that and for the woodshed. I think it is. They said they would be. And then what I'm gonna to try to do is next weekend, 
Yeah, next weekend is Labor Day weekend. I'm gonna try to rent a lift so I can get my Tyvek, last piece of Tyvek up there, get the board and batten up there on the gable end and down this wall and on the gable end on the other side and get my um, soffit boards in. So if I can get that done with the lift in three days, all I gotta do is a front and the back and this end and I'll be good to go. I like that. All right. I'm going to go something to eat. I'm hungry. See you, bye.